Hello to all the kids at Victoria Shanghai Academy and to Mr. Hill. Uh, my name is Greg Holden and I am going to be answering some of your questions about my song, A Lost Boy. Uh, first of all, I really appreciate you even being interested in asking the questions in the first place. It means a lot to me and uh, so does the song, so thank you. And um, I'm going to try my best to answer them clearly and, uh, and the best that I possibly can. Okay, here we go. So, what inspired you to write the story? Well, the song was uh, written about a book called What is the What? by Dave Eggers. He's an American author and this, uh, the book, unfortunately, is a true story about a Sudanese refugee called Valentino Ochek Deng. And it's about his journey from South Sudan um, during a civil war through to uh, a refugee camp called uh, Kakuma in, uh, near, near the Ethiopian border in Kenya, I think. And uh, the, the story is about his journey to that refugee camp and then his journey to America. And um, it's, a, uh, it's a very heavy story and I was very inspired by, by the story and wrote the song The Lost Boy about it. Um, in a strange turn of events, I was actually able to meet um, Valentino a few, a, a couple of years later in Los Angeles. Uh, here it is, the picture of me and him. And uh, so it sort of showed me that writing a song um, about something that I care about can actually have an impact. Okay, question number two. What do you mean by sorry miles? Well, basically, um, this group of kids that they were known as the Lost Boys, and um, when they were when the Civil War started, they were forced to walk a long way. Um, some of them a thousand miles um, without water without their parents without anything so they were known as as the lost boys and it can't have been a very easy walk for them so that's what i meant by sorry miles um question three why is it called the lost boy well it's called the lost boy as i've said now because it's about the lost boys of south sudan a group of kids that um got that name because they didn't know where they were going they were once they left their hometowns they were sort of just wandering um, and became lost and they, they were given that nickname which stuck and uh, you know it's it's an unfortunate term and I think that even in our world now that we're living in with the Syrian refugee crisis and all that sort of thing there are similar situations that are still going on it's very sad um, but that's what I meant by that's why it's called the lost boy Question number four, why did he leave his parents? Why did the lost boy leave his parents? Well, unfortunately, he was forced to. Um, many times, unfortunately, the, the parents were either taken away or killed. And these uh, these kids were, they were forced to leave. They had no choice. They either, they either stayed and died or they had to go. And that's, that's why they had to leave their parents. And thankfully, this story um, of Valentino has a happy ending. He did end up many, many years later being reunited with his parents in America, I believe. Um, so that is one of the, the good things about this story. Question five, what does hero to the masses mean? Well, Valentino became very, a very important figure in South Sudan. Once he got to America, he started immediately trying to do everything he could for South Sudan and the community that he lived in called Mariel Bay. Um, so he started um, a charity through this book, actually, um, called the Valentino Chet Deng Foundation, where he built uh, a school for girls. And it's a very, it's the most successful school, I think, in South Sudan now. So Hero to the Masses really meant that he had every intention of leaving and doing something for his people, which he did, which is wonderful. Number six. How does the song make you feel? I wish I could say that it makes me feel happy, but it is about a very sad story. So the song does make me sad. And uh, there is a, a, a sort of, ins you know, there's supposed to be a positive message in the song. And that obviously helps. But unfortunately, the story is a very sad one. So yeah, the song makes me sad. <laughs> and number seven, what do you mean by brothers of a different kind? Well, many of these kids had um, real brothers and sisters from their family that they lost. Um, either they were killed or they lost them in the walk or they were separated um, somewhere along the line. And uh, 
brothers of a different kind mean, means that the Lost Boys themselves, all strangers in the beginning, became a band of brothers. And even when they um, were set, sent to different countries, they were sent to America and all over the all over the world. Uh, they stayed together and they would they became brothers. So that's that's what I meant by that. Okay, that's the the seven questions that I was sent. So I hope that they helped. I hope they shed some light on the song. Uh, I'm very honored that you guys wanted to know more about this. And I hope that it helped. And I hope to come to Hong Kong soon and maybe meet you guys. Anyway, thank you so much for paying attention. And uh, I'll see you soon.